Welcome everyone back to gaming after a long break and back to racing after even a longer one uh, and back to Gran Turismo Sport uh, the previous game from the Gran Turismo series <clears throat> this is mainly because it uh, hasn't been finished yet by me so let's see what we have there I think Yeah, so I kind of started the uh, old Japan GT Car Championship races, which I have still eight to go here. And I also did one of the Vision Gran Turismo. And I think I will go Vision Gran Turismo just because it's all mostly fantasy. So I want to get rid of it and forget about it. Six more races to do. Fantasy cars, four fantasy, three fantasy trucks real trucks uh let's go with the fantasy uh no let's go as it is so interlagos let's go to brazil i have the cars ready i already used the bugatti so i don't want to reuse it uh we'll go with the cars i have here i also don't want to use that tomahawk xvgt it's just too powerful um well as long as ai is not using it then maybe i'll decide to use it on the laptop but generally I'll go with the flow, so McLaren, first one to be used. I think it's also the best looking one of all of them. Okay, I'll be using it in different settings. The only thing I'm going to check is if it's manual. Let's go with mediums, traction control, I guess should be off, right? Uh, ABS, I guess cars like that will have ABS, but let's keep it at weak. Okay, and car settings won't be changing anything here. Everything stays default, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's do some racing. Like car looks crazy already. Oh no, I have to pause. Okay, continue. Okay, I have a pretty fast car, from what I can see. That car is fast. I need to get used to that car. I think that it was turbo, that sound. Oh yeah, definitely. Sounds great. I have to say that the view out of that car, of the cockpit, is amazing. I can see everything. Bloody hell, that's fast. I'm surprised it only has six gears. What are the speeds that car can achieve? More than 300 dollars a day.
I love the sounds of the chassis in the game. I think they're really, really good. The engine sounds, they could have been much better, but the chassis sounds, they're great. I think that was uh, Aston Martin or something. Oh, hard to break. It's really easy to lose uh, concentration in that car. I wish uh, AI had better cars. Seems like I have a huge advantage just based on the car I picked up for the race. Whoa! I forgot I switched off traction control. Audi or not, it's done. I have to remember about the braking points. With this accelerations and the speeds, it's really easy to miss this. A bit wide here. I will be track limits in F1. Don't think that would care that much in GT. a lot of the curbs. Uh, maybe I'm a bit too aggressive on them, but uh, it doesn't matter that the marching Gran Turismo. Oh my, that force feedback is strong. Already feel the right shoulders. And I'm not weak.
one tenth of a second quicker, not much really. like I'll be lapping a cars which are lapping other cars. So it's like a double lap. I'm glad it's the last lap, but it's not. One more, besides this one. chance for the fastest lap on the last lap of the race. It was uh, almost 0 0.6 I think in the second sector. And it was fastest lap by almost a second. <coughs> oh, my shoulder. That was Autodromo de Interlagos, but unfortunately without extra bonus. Oh yes, I had this one uh, mistake at the braking to the first corner when I went out of truck, and that's the price I paid for it. No, 50% bonus for a clean race. Well, happens, I guess. Uh, time for... Oh, that's an interesting one. The whole Nürburgring two laps. In those cars, they will be in Hyundai. Which has 870 horsepower, which is not as powerful as the McLaren, and but it's a four-wheel drive. 
I made. Uh, hi, Pan Greg. Uh, no, not anymore in Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, I'm done with it when it comes to online. I just want to finish the campaign because I still have quite a few races left. Uh, I achieved anything I wanted, all the achievements in online, so I'm not going back to it. Um, so Hyundai will be the next one then. As I said, I'll be going with uh, car by car. Not sure if this is the best choice for the truck, but four wheel drive, not too powerful, should be good enough for Nürburgring. I don't think a car like that would be allowed at all at Nürburgring, but yeah. Not for me to decide. Uh, that's what they designed, that's what I have to do. Uh, a quick look at settings. That car doesn't have manual gearbox. I have to go automatic. I cannot change it, that's crazy. Well, okay, let's switch. Thank you very much. Thank you. And let's switch of traction control. I cannot change. Hi. Hello, how are you? Okay, I cannot change to manual. Has to be automatic. I will stick to racing mediums. Why not to? And the rest stays as this. So everything off. Weak. Weak ABS under the assumption that car like that would have ABS. Uh, I won't be changing anything here. Still don't understand why I cannot go with uh, manual, but <clears throat> such a waste of time on my side. Such a mistake. Have to restart all of it. Not sure if this is the best car for that truck. Um, but I'm hellbent on accomplishing that in that particular car because that's what I picked up for that race. I don't want to give up so easily. Come on, accelerate. to be in the attack mode, overtake them as quickly as I can.
40 seconds to the first one. That was a minute, so that's quite a nice achievement so far. And 5 seconds to P7. Quite here. Luckily, there is some uh, escape route there. It wasn't a grass, it was a bit of a pavement or something like that. Space there, but there was enough here on the inside. Oh, I was looking through the mirror, almost costed me some time. Very slow left hander. The chassis sounds are really good. They compensate for the lack of uh, engine sound in that car. Thirty-three seconds to the first one. Quite a distance to the to the next one as well. Twelve seconds to P6. Risky there. Maybe unnecessarily, but it was what it was. Carousel and a cool sound of tires. 30 seconds, so that's half of what it was. I think I started with one minute. Still closing, not as fast though as on the previous sections of the racetrack. Uh, another two seconds gained. And here we are, I'm catching up on those guys in front of me. P6 and P5. That was 12 seconds previously, now it's just two seconds. One second actually, but now it's all about finding right spot to overtake and it won't be here that's Aston Martin I think maybe here that's a bit risky but there was enough space for two cars he just turned on me That is the car, but I know I'll be overtaking him here. So that's P5, 25 seconds more or less to the first one. And the longest straight on Nordschleife or at Nordschleife, nine seconds to the P4. Toya and 22 seconds to P1 and we're doing 370 
almost 400 kilometers per hour there in that car 17 seconds to P1 and 1.7 to P4 final lap I went quick that is P4 and there is a P3 in front of me and so oh that acceleration difference I would thought that electric engine will have better acceleration. But maybe this is just pure uh, horsepower difference. I did not pick the most powerful car from the fusion cars. And I'm paying a price for that at the moment. Well, at least I can attack in the braking zone. My acceleration actually is not bad when I have a clean air in front of me, so I can start accelerating when I want to do it and not have to wait for the car in front of me. Ten seconds the first one. Around six seconds to P2. And again, leaving Nürburgring and starting the North Loop, North Schlaf. I was a bit too strong on brakes here. Well, that's a really long message. Sorry, I cannot read it at the moment. I have to focus on catching up that guy in front of me. Touching up and overtaking are two different things though. That looks like the same car I overtook on P3. Don't see anything. Okay, beautifully. Now I need to chase P1. And six seconds to P1. I can see him now. He's right there in front of me. Oh, it was.
seconds. I was a bit late on brakes here, and I was really lucky here as well. But have finished with a spin. Carousel and that cool sounds again going through it. 3.6 seconds. It's changing, but generally it's uh, going down. up with he's fast in that section whoa there was some sparks there Is it? Is it Tomahawk? Okay, let's see who's faster on that straight. I'm gaining on him. Okay, I have no idea what it is. But I'm glad I'm faster. Now I won't be risking here, I'll be breaking here to the corner. It's right there behind me. I know he has better acceleration out of the corner. I have a better VMAX. But it's a win. Barely. Less than half a second advantage over the second one. It definitely sounds better than my car. Okay, Nurburgring done. No clean race bonus, unfortunately. And that was an hour session already. Uh, just two races. It took me a bit longer to do that Nürburgring that I wanted. But I won't be doing another one today. It's a bit too late. Um, it was fun to do this too. I'm just going to say thank you all for watching. Thank you all came and stay a bit longer. And uh, thank you to everyone who watched it on YouTube. Have a great day, evening whatever time there is where you are and see you next time.